So we are going to look at a very simple cell made from uh, copper and zinc rods. We have copper here and we have zinc rod here. So these two are dipped in lemon fruit. They form um, a primary wet cell. If we replace the banana with the lemon, let's see the amount of EMF that can be produced. So we dip this one. So the two metal rods must be different and they should not touch each other inside the fruit. They should not touch each other. So here we have our cell complete. Now we want to test the amount of current. So the current is higher. The lemon fruit is giving us 0 0.38 milliampers while uh, the, the banana gave us, the raw banana gave us 0 0.13. So this one is giving us uh, 0 0.38. Uh, in terms of voltage, in terms of voltage, I'm using the lower scale, but I can still use, I can use the upper one. In terms of voltage, it is 0 0.5 from what we had, uh, 0 0.3, now it's 0 0.5. If I use the lower scale, yes, it's still 0 0.5. So we have a higher EMF with lemon uh, than with banana. And if we use the galvanometer, the galvanometer, uh, let me connect the cork by a clip, at the end of that. So connecting this, the deflection is much higher. It's much higher. It's going beyond the scale. So there is higher EMF uh, produced with lemon cell, uh, with lemon uh, copper and zinc rod as uh, a cell than with uh, banana. And the same can also be done uh, done using an orange but an orange has a lower concentration um, it's, its electrolyte is not as strong as that of lemon so it's the emf with um, orange will be less than what we have with lemon but it will be higher than what we had with